a bit of YouTube drama today. I'm calling out another Linux YouTuber, Bugs Rider. Bugs Rider, you made a horrible script, okay? You just made a bad script. I even had to comment, like, you know, great video. The only thing is the script is just, tr like, you know, I was kind, he was like very static. This script is trash, okay? Basically, this was, this was a year ago, but I just, I remembered it one night. I was trying to sleep and then I suddenly got a nightmare about this. I'm like, wow, this is just unbelievable. So let me tell you, okay? He talks about, oh yeah, I just got these blue, um, I, I got these Bluetooth headphones and you know, it's really cool, but I wanna connect to Linux and blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna make a script. You, you know, it tells you how to download the tools and how you can do it for the terminal. But you know, obviously we're trying to maximize our time. And then he's like, okay, so this is the script I made. And his script, you know, okay, it's, it's clean. Like, you know, it's only a couple lines couple lines, but it doesn't even do, like, all it does is connect to um, that specific MAC address, you know, let's say you want to have a new device, and what, are you going to correct, create an entire new script just to connect to that device? You can, it's just not very, it's not very future-proof, it's not very modular. So, let me tell you, like, simply, I've already, I've, I did this, I did this before him, you know, I was the, the OG, and it's simply a script I made BCN, I think I even have a GitHub link to it. BCN, you go on it, it's simple, it's elegant, and it works great, okay? All it does, uses D menu. Now you could change it if you don't have D menu, but you can change it to whatever you want, like Rofi or whatever. But it opens up D menu. So first, you know, you type in the script. Okay, D menu, which one do you want to select? Do I want to select my AirPods? Do I want to select the Mega Boom speak or do I want to uh, select my keyboard? Because I've got a Bluetooth keyboard. And then, you know, let's say I select the AirPods then it'll get the MAC address, it'll do all this kind of stuff, you can check um, how it works, but, um, and then, you know, it gets the MAC address, once it does, it connects, exact same way he's connecting, um, where it's like Bluetooth connect, blah, 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 and then it'll send a little message, it's like if it's already connected, then say that it's like trying to connect, or if it's, or it's okay, if it's already connected, then say attempting to disconnect, and then it will disconnect it and you get those nice messages if i then redo it then airpods airpods connected and it's simple as that simple elegant clean and the thing is this allows for new devices to be added and all that good stuff now i was thinking I'm like what is the possible benefit of his script over mine and it's the fact that maybe he only has those bluetooth headphones maybe he doesn't have a keyboard to be honest i I never disconnect my keyboard, and only rare occasions I'll use this. 99% of the time, I'm just connecting, and recon disconnecting, reconnecting my AirPods. So, an even simpler one. What you could do is, I'm gonna try and figure this out on the spot, I haven't written anything, but I believe you could do something like this. Like, when you do select, took me a bit longer to figure out than I expected but it works. Essentially, what it does now is it first checks the device amount. It checks how many devices there are. If there is only one device, then it'll just awk and get the MAC address of the first and the only device. And then it'll also make sure that if it's um, if there's no device, then it doesn't have an error. But if, um, However, if there is more than one device, then it simply goes to select and you have the option like, okay, do you want to connect your AirPods, your uh, speaker, you know, whatever, your keyboard. Um, and yeah, so this is objectively, objectively the best script you can have, objectively. Um, number one, it just works well, it's clean, it's modular. You know, if you've got only one device, then look, I'll show you, connects. But, you know, again, like if that's what you want, then that's what you want. But let's say, um, I'll connect my keyboard right now. I'll try and connect it in a second. Then as uh, I'm connecting the keyboard, I'll have a new device added. And once I've had that new device added, as you can see, I'm about to, yeah, connected. So now I've got my Bluetooth keyboard selected. If I then open it up, then, oh, Keychron. And like, I also got the TV now. Um, but that's the whole point. It's modular now and it allows for the most options. So if you've got multiple devices, then you've got options. If you only have one device and you just want to connect, then BCN, boom, you're connected. That's it. So I hope this video has helped you. Um, just so you know, I completely hate Bugs Rider with all my heart. <laughs> now check out this video. This video is good, um, but you know, he's a bit of a noob. There's a better way, better way to do stuff sometimes. So I have the link to this updated script in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.